So in this video I'm going to be showing you a USB-C hub by Cable Creation which allows you to use the Stage Manager function from a compatible iPad which basically means that you can go external to a TV or a monitor with your extended desktop when you are in Stage Manager mode. Now just a couple of things before I get into this video. This USB-C hub was sent to me for free from Cable Creation and they've sent it free in exchange for a review of it so there's my transparency bit out of the way with also there are a lot more functions that this hub will do beyond what I will show within this video I need to keep this video as short as I can and just focused on one thing and that is using the HDMI function of this USB-C hub to extend the iPad to an external monitor using stage manager however in the future I will do another video about this hub as part of like a general desktop setup with my iPad pros and stuff Stuff. and in that one I will go into a lot more detail about this hub actually one last thing here my iPad Pro is connected to a magnetic desktop stand by a company called Lulu look as you can see here it just connects obviously magnetically because it's a magnetic desktop stand but it allows you to do like massive angles on it and stuff like that also you can change the orientation and what have you this is an absolute must for anybody who uses an iPad Pro at a tabletop and stuff like that I will actually do a video dedicated to this thing soon so just before we have a close-up look at the hub what we are looking at here is the box and the packaging and stuff and what comes with it so as we can see here it comes with some bespoke packaging it also comes with a carry pouch as well there's also a manual here which explains a bit about the ports and we also get a warranty card which also doubles up as a contact sheet as well so looking at the hub itself then and going from left to right we have got a HDMI port which can do 4k 60 now this is very important because the iPad Pro M1 does indeed do 4k 60 when it is using the extended desktop mode when it is in stage manager mode and then next to that what we have got are two ports one is a standard SD card slot and the one above it is a micro SD card slot next to that we have got two USB-A ports and they are USB 3 so they will do up to 5 gigabits per second next to that we have got a USB-C port and that is for powering so what we would do there is plug our iPad Pro or any iPad that's compatible we would plug its power cable into there and basically the unit here will take about 5 watts of power but it will pass through up to 100 watts so basically you're not really going to lose that much when you've got your iPad Pro or whatever is connected to it when it is on charge and then onto this end of the USB-C hub and we have a gigabit ethernet port and this is absolutely fantastic if you've got access to an ethernet system and maybe you're just not close enough to a wireless system in order to get a good signal for your iPad Pro in this instance this will actually go up to a gigabit so this is awesome now the other long edge of the hub here has absolutely nothing on it and then finally onto the other end of the USB-C hub and we have a fixed cable which is about 8 inches long and this is a USB-C cable so the end of this cable has got a USB connector on it which plugs directly into the iPad Pro now just before I get into showing you some HDMI captures of the second screen as we can see here from this very dodgy angle I have now got the iPad connected to the external monitor using the cable creation hub now I don't know if we can notice here but just there that is the receiver for a keyboard and a mouse as well now that is absolutely necessary so that we can go into the stage manager mode however right now just something to point out here we are in mirrored mode and as we should be able to see at the top and the bottom of the actual monitor we've got black bars here now usually this is something that we definitely wouldn't want however we are not using this system for mirroring so what I will do now is switch over into the extended desktop mode so what I'm going to do is go to settings and then if I come down to display and brightness as you can see here it actually lists my monitor so it says there LG Ultra HD now there are a couple of options that we've got in there as well so we can actually go and mess with some things if you've got a HDR monitor you can switch on HDR and stuff like that 
and then what we can do here is go to arrangement now right now we are in mirrored mode however if i just flip this switch here boom look at that so now we are basically in the extended desktop mode and then from here we can then get into the stage manager mode now just quickly as we can see here hopefully my mouse is moving on the ipad there and then when i move it across there boom it is on the extended monitor now what i'm going to do is do some hdmi screen grabbing for the hdmi output here so we can see a little bit better what's going on with this extended desktop mode on the external monitor okay so we're now looking at the external monitor with stage manager activated now don't forget in order to be able to use stage manager with the external monitor you have to have at least a pointing device attached to your ipad now a pointing device is basically anything like a trackpad or a mouse also you are probably best off using a keyboard in that as well in order to be able to use all the functions properly with the external monitor now you can connect any of those devices directly via bluetooth to the ipad itself or you can do what i'm doing which is to use a wireless keyboard and mouse combination that uses a usb dongle receiver and then you simply just plug that receiver into one of the usb ports on the cable creation hub and that is exactly what i'm doing right now now before i go any further this video is not really about showing you ipad os 16 and stage manager although i will do that this video is to show you a piece of hardware which will allow you to connect your ipad to an external monitor via hdmi and go full 16.9 as we are right now and obviously that being the cable creation usb-c hub anyways nonetheless as we can see here is my mouse jiggling away in the center there so what i'm going to do is just start opening up some apps and let me show you some stuff to do with stage manager so here we go with the, the youtube app okay so youtube app is open there now the most basic kind of way we can manipulate that particular app right now is with these three dots at the top here so these three dots you click on them and then you've got zoom you've got add another window which i will show you shortly but that doesn't really work that well right now and then you've got minimize move to ipad which will then just move that app over to the ipad screen and then you've got close so i'm just going to go to zoom here and then as we can see it has gone full 16.9 which is really cool now the only thing here though to point out is that not all apps will do this whether that's because the app won't do it or whether that's because we're still only on beta 2 at the moment for ipad os 16 i'm not entirely sure but nonetheless some apps will some apps won't now if i click on these three pips again here if i go to minimize it's going to pop it right down to the bottom there now if i've got to be dead honest stage manager isn't really something that i think so cool and that's only because i tend to only use single apps at a time in which case what we've just seen there is what i would normally do anyway however stage manager will be good for other people who like to see a whole bunch of things open on the screen so let me start doing a bit of that so i'm going to open up that youtube app again now what i can do here if i come up to the corner and drag it I can kind of reshape it onto the stage as it were or onto the monitor now you can't kind of resize and reshape these exactly as you want however if we just kind of grab the corners and the sides and the bottom and the top and whatnot and start moving it around it'll kind of fall into place somewhere where you would probably kind of want it anyway however like i've just said it won't just go anywhere where you want and we can't just kind of grab that and move it to the side and let it stay there it'll bounce back to the middle i'll show you more of this in a second with the other apps but nonetheless you know it's not quite as flexible as what some people may want however for most people that function probably is all they really need okay so what i'm going to start doing now is opening up more apps so let me open up let's see the app store here now as we can see the app store has opened up and then the youtube app has now gone to the left hand side here and then i will open up say a couple of more apps and we'll see a bit more as to what goes on when we start building up more apps on the screen so there's a cubasis that's basically some like music software and stuff once again whilst that opens the other two apps then fall to the left hand side here now here's something that doesn't resize so if i go to the three pip things at the top there click on them and if i do zoom 
it's only zoomed in slightly it doesn't go to the full 16.9 now this may well be because this app would need updating to kind of utilize that particular function or indeed like i've already said because this is ipad os 16 beta 2 it could even be a function of the os not working correctly yet i don't know anyways what i'm going to do is if i click on the pips up there then if i do minimize that drops to the bottom there and then we lose the side i don't know what's going on there because the other apps don't tend to do that that might be just a one-off with this app but i'll open it up nonetheless again like that now what i'm going to do is come back down to the bottom and let me just open up safari there so now with the four apps open we can start moving stuff around on the screen and kind of grouping things into what i probably think is what stage manager is really designed for so what we can do here if we click on the three pips and if we go here and say add another window if i click on that then we if we come down to the bottom here and i'll just pick one of the apps that was already open now if i bring that up we've now got two apps on the screen at the same time and i don't know how useful that view is that's down to the individual for me that's not really a thing however we can click quickly on the uh, on the safari app and then quick quickly back on the app store app and stuff again is it useful i don't know anyway but what we can do now if we start reshaping these apps as in if i grab the corner of the browser here hold on that didn't work wait there if i grab the corner of the browser and then drag it across here as we can see we've now got two apps open at the same time and like they're not overlapping and stuff again i really don't know how mega useful this stuff is but that's down to the individual so what i'm going to do is take the app store app i'm going to kind of make that a bit smaller there now again you can kind of resize these and kind of get the widths the way that you you would like them but now what i'm going to do is open up the youtube app there now as you've seen there when i opened up the youtube app those two apps that were already on the screen have kind of like being grouped together so when i open any one of those it opens up the pair of them because they've been paired up as a group now what i can do is i'd say a third app to that now if i grab the youtube app instead of just clicking on it if i just hold and click the app with the mouse left button and then drag it over I can then just drop that onto the screen so as we've seen there we've got that option where we click on the pips and go add another screen or add another window or we just do what we've just done there which is to drag the app over and then drop it into place and once again from here we can start kind of like doing stuff like resizing and things like that once again and i'm sorry to sound like a broken record i just don't know how useful this all is to a lot of people it most certainly isn't to me because i like to see one app on the screen as big as possible however i do appreciate that these things will mean something to other people and not me anyways now if i come over to this app and drag that to the stage and drop it in boom it doesn't go full vertical now that might be something to do with the app or the os i don't know but if i try to drag it from the bottom it's not going to move and it'll well it, it's moved but it's not resized and then if i drag it from the side here it won't do anything now there's a fair chance the reason why that is is because the app knows that you need to see all of these things on the app at the same time in order for the app to function so if i was to kind of move some of that stuff the ui of the app wouldn't be showing all the options maybe that's the reason why you can't constrain the way that you want to do with that but nonetheless right now we have got four apps on the screen at the same time and stuff again as to how useful that is i don't know that is up to the individual and whatnot but all i've done here is just to give you a bit of a rough guide as to you know what ipad os 16 and stage manager is doing right now on beta 2 but don't forget the main point of this video is to show you a piece of hardware which allows you to do all this stuff on your external screen in full 16.9 and that piece of hardware once again is the cable creation usb-c hub anyways there will be links 
links to that hub in the description below and if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up also consider subbing to my channel and getting on that bell notification icon i will be doing a lot more stuff to do with the ipads as and when ipad os 16 develops further up to the final release and i will do a whole bunch of things to do with various apps and a lot of gaming stuff by the looks of it as well anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now Thank <laughs> you.